<clears throat> Hello there, everybody. I'm Muxir, and sorry uh, if my voice sounds off. I do have a cold. Um, and again, uh, the figures are not official in the set. All are mats, uh, like I take figures, take them apart, put them back together in different ways, uh, using official Lego pieces, of course. And um, they're still not complete. I need to add some more figures. But this is my kind of fair slash carnival mock, Meh, mainly fair, but it's mainly like um, the games section. But uh, let's just dive right into it. There's like some grass here, but um, in this mock, it's a ring toss game. So you got your stuffed animals to lure the kids in and then rings to try to get across the bottles. <clears throat> Though they can't really fit across them, but it's just implemented, you know. Uh, what I wanted to do, golden one, you get one of these instantly, or two blacks is the system I just came up with right now. Uh, you got a little stool here, and um, if you can shoot this, which I don't know how you can miss, it would go spinning because it's on a frictionless pin. Pop the whole thing right off, but, um, and you can take home a water gun if you win, and it just has a stud attached to it. So, let's try and... Yeah, it pops right off, but uh, yeah, you know, that's basically just how that works. It's more for looks than actually playing with it. Unlike the my favorite um, friend set, the amusement park arcade, go check that review out. But here's one of those games, you know, where like usually they have them with ducks, but I made this during like Halloween, so I was like, hey, maybe have a Halloween themed game. But here you got some spiders. I'm gonna have to add another one, but anyway, um, the way the game works is. You pick up one, it has a number at the bottom, you add them up, and then they have like number ranges, and if you add up to a certain number, you choose the prize accordingly. Here's the last game, Ball Toss game. You can see the designs of that, and just a 2x4. I actually do have to replace that soon enough. Um, I used to have like the ship piece, you know, the, the sparrow's nest, so you could actually get it in there, but right now, uh, that's just a substitute with some balls in here for prizes. So those are the balls you'd actually use. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and see where this mock uh, fits in my city. It's not a building, it's an open concept mock, obviously. So lifting the whole thing. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> yep, it goes right behind here. Attached with no plates or um, kind of tiles at the bottom. Some things uh, flew off my uh, New York Street, as I call it, but yeah, it goes right behind the arcade, and the connection point or path is this kind of flower hatch right here, which I've noted before, and here's its home right next to the New York Street, which I'll explain in my next video why I call it that, but that is it for now. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.